this is the prize that's going to be given to someone who buys the corporate citizen playbook or the YouTube course. I will let you know who wins this the 1st of July. Today, I took an LLC that was part of my corporate citizen playbook in real life strategy. And I went to the bank and I got $75,000 for an LLC that was just kind of hanging out. And this is part of my corporate restructuring. So if you want to learn tricks and tips and strategies like this, go below and join the webinar that's going to be happening this Sunday. Go ahead and join the webinar. And we'll be talking about the things that you will learn. The Corporate Citizen Playbook is a plethora of information to help you get money, to help you start a business, to help you organize a business, and to help you get your business started. All of that is in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. So once again, we're having a webinar this Sunday on June the 18th, and there's gonna be a special discount for everyone that attends the webinar or checks out the automated webinar. So go ahead. Link's gonna be in the first comment below. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you in this next video. Let me ask you a question. We're just at the barbecue, we're at the bar, and I said, what kind of woman you like? And you're gonna get in that gangster lean, and it's like, this is what I like. You're gonna tell me how you like her hair, you're gonna tell me, do you like that she has big breasts or not big breasts? She has a big butt. You're gonna, you're gonna tell me all of these things that you like about your kind of woman. You know it, you live it. And essentially anyone can come up to you and have a conversation about what type of woman you like and you know. Now, how do you know what type of woman you like? Let's kinda go back through the process. Let me see, when did I start? paying attention to girls. Didn't really start paying attention to girls in um, elementary school. Junior high was when I started to notice and pay attention to girls, uh, seventh grade. And one of the things that, you know, after I had fears, you know, I had to get over my fear of talking to girls, meeting girls, getting to know girls. I had to deal with those issues, but I started talking to girls and then as I started talking to girls from the seventh grade up until high school, the type of girl that I like got sharper and sharper and sharper. See, <clears throat> in the beginning, the girls that I was paying attention to were not the type of girl that I like today. I'll tell you, the girl I like today, I like girls who are radically, radically short, five three, five foot nothing, I'm not a crazy person on big breasts. I like the firm little tiny breasts, cute little booty, thick thighs. I like natural hair. There's a certain look, there's a certain thing I like. And when I get it, I'm usually really, really happy. And how did I get to this point where I knew what type of girl that I liked? Dating, going out with girls, meeting girls, seeing girls, dealing with girls, doing these things with girls, right? And one of the things that has emerged to me is as humans, we become really, really good at the things that we practice, at the things that we actually do, at the things that we're known for. We become really, really good at the things that we pay attention to, the things that we put our attention to, we dive into it, we know this stuff. Now, one of the things that I consistently get on the YouTube channel, I wanna start a business, but I don't know what. I see that all of the time. Now, let's take, how did you figure out what type of girl that you like? You dated, you met women. Now, I'm gonna say something. As someone who started not one, not two, not three, not four, but five businesses that didn't work, because I didn't know what I was doing. My first business, I dated my first business. How did I date my first business? I had a job doing my first business. 
So I knew what my business needed. I knew how to go about dating my business. I knew how to take my business out to dinner. I knew all of that stuff. And guess what? My first business was successful. This was the first successful business I ever had because I knew what I was doing. Message. See, all of you guys who are talking about, I want to start a business, but I don't know what kind of business I want to start. You're telling me a lot. Number one, you're not even trying to start a business. Let's go back to girls. In the beginning, girls were strange and scary and wonderful and kind and soft and pretty. You were scared. You were scared. This is a natural, normal human reaction. So your first methodology of messing around, talking to girls, getting to know girls, you were scared, but you got over your fear. So I'm going to tell you the same process of getting to know girls, dating girls, meeting girls. It's the same process where you will figure out what kind of business you should start. One of the things that I find to be hilarious, and I'm going to sound aggressive. I'm going to sound dismissive. The number of people who get into Airbnb and Toro and become Airbnb and Toro experts. I'm about to say something. You're an expert in this business that you don't know how to get customers for. That cracks me up. You don't know how to get customers for your business, but you're an expert in that business. I'm just sitting there like, okay. Because here's the thing. Let me brush my shoulders off. I've started multiple businesses and was successful in multiple businesses. You all know why? Because I know how to get customers. And this is one of the things that you as a business owner needs to learn, needs to actually become really, really proficient in. So when I started my first business, I knew how to get customers. The first business, the first successful business, I knew how to get customers. When I started my second business, I knew how to get customers. And when I started my third business, I had to learn how to get customers. Notice the difference there, because when I got in the storage auction business, I was using eBay. eBay gets you the customers. I was using Amazon. Amazon gets you the customers, but I was using Craigslist, which is where people go to look for stuff. And I was eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and the upscale garage sale, where I had to get my 100% my own pure customers. And when we started it, we were doing like two to $5,000 on the Saturday. And then it, once we got it really worked out, we were doing 10 to $20,000 on the Saturday, getting my own customers. So once again, let's talk about dating. And I'm about to go ahead and say some stuff. If you like pretty women and your girlfriend is not what you would consider a pretty woman, you don't know how to date because you know, um, I was out with my girlfriend and we met some people and it was like, oh, you know, that, that question is like, what is she to you? And I said, she's family instantly because this is my girlfriend. We live together and that's how I consider her. It's like, oh, she's family. Once again, boom, no more questions, you know, and no attitude and no grumpiness because when we got home, she was quite happy that I consider her family. And see, here's the thing, and this is where dating and businesses are really alike. There's levels, there's levels to business, there's levels to dating. And once you learn those levels, dating becomes very, very easy. Outside the car rental business, and I want you to know something, like I tell you I was successful selling office furniture, I was successful in the storage auction business. I was successful with Conundrum Publishing. I was successful with my online business. I was successful with YouTube. And you know this, I don't even try to shade or hide or like, I, I consider the car room of business an absolute failure. I, I do. So in that, cause there's levels to this and that's a failure that I am not going to repeat because I've learned my lesson. Because once again, dating, getting to know women, getting to meet women is really very much like business. And once you know how to properly date, then you know how to properly set up a business. Let's look at dating and starting a business. First thing is we see the girl. All right. The girl is the lead. 
and you, you're like, okay, so what do you have to do in business? You can like see leads all day long, but until you actually communicate with them, ain't nothing gonna happen. So the girl, you communicate with the girl, you communicate with the lead. Then you make your pitch. Hey, this is why you need to be with me. This is what you say to the girl for businesses. Hey, this is why you need to be with me. You got a pitch to get a girl. You got a pitch to get your first client. It's pretty much even. Then you start dating and then you start having meetings with your client. Dating meetings. And then you close the deal with this girl. You seal the deal with this client. You win. See that this is one of the reasons that I know that a vast majority of you who are asking me, I want to start a business so bad. Really? Are you even trying? Are you even trying? Because just like you solved your situation with how to find girls, if you have solved that situation, you can solve the same situation on what business you should start. Cause it's the same process. It's the same process. And I say this as a man who's had a lot of success with women and I've had a lot of success in business where all my encounters with women are hundred percent successful. Absolutely not. I would say if I had to rank myself, I would say 90% of my situations with women were positive and ended out the way that I wanted them to. And that was just 10% ain't nothing happening. And I, you know, I always used to say, that girl don't know how to pick good men. That, that was my thing when I would deal with one of those kind. And I would just keep it moving and move on to the next woman. Same thing in business. You got a client, a lead. I don't want nothing to do with you. All right, next lead. Same process. So once again, I know some of you do not know how to get women. I know that. I'm not trying to be mean or facetious. I just know that a lot of you don't know how to get women, do not know how to navigate women, do not know how to organize yourself. And you need a lot of help. You need a lot of help. So once again, starting your business, doing the things you need to do to set up your business, doing the things you need to do to be successful in business is very much like dating women. And this is something that I have seek, I've known and I've seen it all the time. The best salesmen, regardless of what they look like, had no problem getting women. I've seen this. There was this one guy, he looked, I would call him a taller Danny DeVito. You know, the guy from Taxi, the little short guy with the dark hair and the bald head. He was a taller version of Danny. He looked like Danny in the face and had a little bit more hair. Not exactly the most handsome guy in the world, right? And I remember we were out one night and there was this girl and you know, you could tell when the guy's interested in the girl cause he gets that hawkish look and he was just like, and I was like, I looked at Danny and I looked where he was looking and I saw the girl. I said, you need to go get that. He said, I think I will. So Danny goes over and he goes straight to her. She's at a table with three other women. And Danny goes over and he says, excuse me, my name is Danny. And I cannot help but keep staring at you because you're so damn beautiful. That's exactly what Danny said. And the girl was like, oh, really? He said, really? I know you're here with your friends, excuse me. Let me get your, na your name and number and I'm gonna call you. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna have a great date. And she gave him her name, she gave him her phone number. And Danny came back over to us. She and Danny have been married for, I would say, 20 years now. Danny was a salesman. Danny knew how to go out and get what he wanted. And this girl, she's outrageously beautiful. Outrageously beautiful. And this is the thing. I've never heard Danny complain about his wife ever. I've never heard him like, well, we got a bad patch. They have not one, not two, but three children. They look like Danny. They look just like they daddy. You know, those are his kids. And one of the things that you have got to understand now, Danny was an outside salesperson, so he could handle rejection quite well. And this is one of the things, cause I know, I know I, I'll see this. Like I want to start a business. I want to start a business, but I don't know what to start. <sighs> Have you even tried? Have you even tried? Because one of the things that I consistently see is people want a certain thing in life. They will want that certain attitude in life. They will want it really, really bad. But the question is, do you want it bad enough to go get it? Because like I said, you know, and I'm being 
somewhat diplomatic with this video because I know there are men out there who have horrible problems getting women. I know that. And once again, it's a lot to do with fear because I'm going to say this as a normal looking guy, I had no problem getting women. I had no problem going up and talking to a woman that's never seen before me before and talking to her with confidence, talking with her like, yeah, well, you're, you're going to sleep with me. You just don't know it yet, but you go, I've actually rolled up to a woman and I used that line. I was like, Hey, beautiful. How you doing? She said, I'm good. I said, you're going to sleep with me. You just don't know it yet. And she's like, that's a different kind of pickup line. I was like, it ain't no pickup line. It's the truth. What you drinking? And I buy her a drink and I keep talking to her and I keep saying certain things to her. And at one point my hand was on her ass and she kept smiling, drinking that night. She came home with me. So one of the things that you have to understand is you've got to orientate yourself. You got to set yourself up for success. And part of that is taking chances. And part of that is going out and really seeing what is happening in the world today. Because once again, uh, we're getting ready to get into some very serious training in the corporate citizen toolbox. And you, you're going to want to be there if you're one of these people who somewhat ambitious about your business model, because uh, we're going to put in some training teaching you how to figure out what's the best business model for you. And no, we will not be talking about real estate. No, we will not be talking about cryptocurrency. Those to me are trends unless you're going to go out and invent a cryptocurrency and then sell that. That's a business model. Plenty of people have made billions off that business model. But if you're just buying and shilling around cryptos, unless you got a really sizable position, you ain't gonna make a lot of money. Notice I said, not a lot of money. I got people who's like, I made money in crypto. This last year, I made $5,000 in crypto. I'm up. Congratulations, you made some chump change. Now, now go sit in the corner. But once again, we've got a lot of things that are going down in the corporate citizen playbook. You're definitely gonna to wanna to be part of that. And it's gonna take me the end of June and July to get it all finished. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on. So below is a link to a webinar that I should be having Sunday. I have a feeling this is gonna come out Friday and this will post Saturday. So tomorrow on Sunday, we will be having this webinar and you want to be there because everyone that comes to the webinar is going to get an extremely large discount and the, the attendant webinar, the webinar links are going to be below this video or they'll be in the description depending on what time this comes out. So once again, go ahead, knock yourself out, show up at the webinar. 5 p.m. Sunday. We will be breaking it down. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.